All right, next up, we've got a clip from Jesse Duplantis. I wanted to show this clip to just further expose uh, this man as being one of the greatest modern-day blasphemers of our holy God that I've ever seen in my entire life. And this clip is very disturbing. And again, the reason I want to play this is to point out to you that not only is he blasphemous beyond any reason, he is also inappropriate in full view of the public. This is a horrible, horrible man. Uh, is Mary here? Mary. Mary's my executive said, Come, Mary. Mary's been with me 20 years. This is Roy. Roy, put your hand on. This is Roy's wife. Come, 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 come out here. In other words, if you call me and you get a hold of me, you're going to get to Mary. If you get to Mary, you got up pretty high on the totem pole. Now watch this. Now Mary worked for, what, 20 years? You know, we, and we kind of treat Mary like our daughter, you know. But see, she works for Jesse the Plants Ministries. This is how God sees me and Mary. Why? She's part of my ministry. Walk with me, Mary. Wherever she goes, I go. Why? It's the way it's supposed to be. Why? She works for me. That means she works for me when she's not working for me. She's a representative of me. Thank you, Mary. You understand what I'm saying? All right, so my first question is, for what purpose did he feel it necessary to call up in front of everyone another man's wife and wrap his chubby, bloated arms around, well, yes, another man's wife? While he presses his body upon her from behind, well, what was this done for? Well, I think we know the answer. This is perversion. But even for those that might disagree with me, what did this demonstrate? How did this help anyone's faith? It's stunning. This was outrageously inappropriate. This was Jesse wanting to demonstrate to the world that, well, I can do whatever I want to whomever I want, even to the public violation of another man's wife right in front of him and to the millions who will watch this online. Now, ask yourself this. Why didn't he do this to, well, let's say one of his man employees? Why not a man? Well, I think we know the answer. Well, surely he didn't have to pick Mary here and just look at her. She is absolutely uncomfortable. It's clear. You can look at her face and see that. But he didn't have to pick Mary. He could have picked, well, let's say Steve from accounting. Why didn't he pick Steve from accounting? You think Jesse would have wrapped his hobbit arms around Steve and walked up and down in front of everybody while his body pressed up against Steve awkwardly. Now, remember, he also said at the beginning, well, you know, we think of Mary as a daughter. So somehow that makes this okay. Don't have impure thoughts. Don't look at the way I've positioned my arms and my hands. No, no, no. Mary's just a daughter. You're going to do this with your daughter, your adult daughter? You're going to grind up behind her and walk, make her walk in front of you while you inappropriately hold your hands around her. Again, just atrocious. This man is unspeakable. I'm going to say one more thing as I close this segment. How do you think Mary's husband felt as this old broken pervert groped his wife right in front of him and in front of the world? Honestly, I don't know how he sat there in his seat while this assault happened. Certainly pray for this couple, Mary and her husband. Because I can tell you, I, I wouldn't have sat there. There's not enough money in the world that would have prevented me from protecting my wife from a full-on assault by any man at any time. This is absolutely bananas.